Hey everyone, welcome back. In this SQL tutorial, we are going to learn about the SQL date and time functions. Now, SQL date and time functions help you to work with the dates and times and extract, convert, format the date and time output. So basically, this will be helpful if you want to extract certain days or certain months from the date and want to do some sort of formatting of the date and time from the table. So that's where date and time functions will be really helpful. So let's quickly go to the documentation and see some of the date and time functions. So in the functions and operators, we will go to the date and time functions. So here you will see that date is the function available which extract the date part of the date or date time expression. Okay. So these functions, what they will do is if you have a date and time and you want to only extract the date part, date is the function for that. So if you say select date and it has the date and time, it will only return the date part of the date and time format. Okay. So pretty simple and self-explanatory. These functions, if you want to say, for example, hour you want to extract the hour you use the hour you want to return the last day of the month for the argument you have the function last day right if you have you want to get the day right so day of the month you use the day right if you want to get the current date you use the current date current date so it will give you the current date all right whatever the current date is so here say for example current time right so if i say select current time it will return me the current time so let's go to the workbench and i'll create a new query tab okay if i say select current date right so c u r current date we know that there is a function current date if i run this you will see it will display the current date whatever the current date is okay if i say current time then it will display the current time whatever the current time is okay so these are some of the functions date time functions that will be really helpful now how are they going you uh, to help in your actual testing so say for example we'll select the same detail so i'll say select star from customer orders yeah customer order okay so because there is a date field as well when the order was placed so if we get the details so there is a order date right so if now i want to work on these orders with the date and time i want to fetch only the order date okay so what i can do is i can say instead of select star i just want to see when the order what date the order was placed i do not want to i want to remove the time from it okay so i can say select date right i can use this function and i can say order date okay i want to get only the date from this order date i do not want this time okay so if i run this now you will see only the date has been returned okay so this is how this date function will help me to quickly see or qu quickly fetch whatever information i am looking for okay if i am looking for few more details say for example i want to get the column the customer id and the order date right so i can say cust id comma order date right and now i'll get customer id and the date when the customer has placed the order so these are some of the scenarios where you will be using the date time functions okay so this is about the date now say for example i want to get the let's see the hour extract of the hour okay so if i want to get the hour so i can simply instead of date i can say hour of the from the order date right and at what hour the orders were placed so it will get get me the exact hour when the orders were placed okay so if you see here the hour has been fetched and displayed when we use this function hour okay now what else we have we have the month which will return the month from the date passed we have the second which will return the second and then we have this uh, the time portion if we just want the time portion expression we will use the time we can format the way we want to display the date and time so you have the time format right and then we have the week returns the week number weekday returns the year so there are so many date and time functions the way you are going to use is exactly same as we have seen in the example here say for example i want to only fetch the year i'll simply use the function year and it will return or it will fetch only the year from these dates and display those so if you run this you will see only the year has been fetched and displayed okay so 
this is how date and time functions will be really helpful let me go back oh sorry and see what else we have so we have the week we have year then week of the year return the calendar week of the date right so it will return the what what sort of week in terms of 1 to 53 a week right so it will return the calendar week of the date whatever you pass so if you say week of the year then it will return the week okay so here if we say week right you will see that it already displays these functions for me right so week of year and it will display what sort of week that date falls into in in terms of week of the year okay so these are some of the very important date and time functions go through the list here it's not i mean you you can't go through each and everything in the list but as and when required you should know that where you want to go and refer so that if there is something so for example this is the list of date and time functions available in mysql if i have to perform certain actions in date and time i can i know that i need to refer to this particular function list i can get the current time with current time car time uh, current date, uh, this is basically current date synonym, current time synonym, right? So every description with example of these functions is available here. You can go ahead and practice, but there are so many functions that you would not be using as part of the testing team. But understanding where to get that information is more important so that in case you require any of the details in future, you know that you can get all these details from the official documentation. So that's all for this tutorial on date and time functions in SQL. I hope this was helpful. Thank you very much for watching.